Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to review Havoc OS 4.2, which is based on Android 11. So let's check it out.
This needs to stop now. So for gaming this room is not the best option though you can still use some tweaks on magisk modules to increase the performance of this room. With stock settings it is kinda okayish. This game was lagging at some places when I was screen recording at 1080p and even after disabling there were some minor frame drops here and there. Benchmark with stock kernel. Here is the result of Geekbench and as you can see it is not that great. Also the CPU throttling test results is quite good. So I have achieved 7 hours and 23 minutes of screen on time with this room which is impressive and as you can see here is my stats too. Sometimes gestures acting weirdly and connecting to PC won't work are the bugs that I've faced so far. This room is quite good for daily driver except that connection bug to PC. If you don't have a PC then you can definitely flash this room. But if you move files or copy them from your device to PC then that can be a problem for you guys. Overall the performance and battery life plus stability of this room is quite impressive for the first official release. So if you want some customization plus a little bit of gaming while having that amazing battery backup then you can flash it. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos.